Good morning, folks. We had a special video last night, and we'll have another one this evening. This morning, we're going to take a look at the sun. We'll see a new satellite mission, find Mars ice, and a climate forcing parameter. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find it was a relatively eruptionless day. One filament did go off the southern departing limb, but otherwise, the large coronal hole just continues traversing heliographic longitudes, and the plasma filaments around it remain stable. The brighter areas coming into view trailing behind the coronal hole and filaments are the active regions, only a few sunspots within the magnetic activity, but NOAA space weather forecasters are suggesting that the coronal hole stream from that large opening will arrive tonight or tomorrow, driving geomagnetic activity. We'll have our eyes on the solar wind data, as well as continuing to watch the plasma filaments and those incoming sunspots. Up first in the links today, the ESA is touting their new Earth Care satellite, which will help break down the cloud and aerosol components of the atmosphere better than ever before. It's basically as detailed as you can get with higher resolution and a broader range of detection capabilities. Up next, one thing that satellites are already great at detecting is water ice, and that includes the Mars orbiting satellites. They have pretty well mapped the surface exposed to ice, which not only tells them where to land future missions, but helps indicate where there may be even more ice just beneath the surface. Lastly, folks, we have had a ton of papers this year adding to tons in prior years on the solar impact to the ozone. This study details not only how the energetic particle precipitation during solar activity interacts to destroy ozone, but how they'll be able to better monitor that in the near future. Hopefully they can get that into the climate models. Don't forget to grab tickets to our November 18th event, Come Out to Observer Ranch, for the next Observer Get Together. The ranch is still set to open early next year. We hope to see you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.